Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, has ordained seven priests of the Missionary Society of St. Paul Congregation. The ordination, which was the first for Kaigama as the new local ordinary of MSP, was held at the National Missionary Seminary of St. Paul, Gwagwalada, Abuja. CTV's Tony Abba reports. It was the 36th priestly ordination of the Missionary Society of St. Paul and the first ordination of Archbishop Kaigama as the new local ordinary of MSP. Before the Mass, the Superior General, Reverend Father Callistus Isara, welcomed the Chief Shepherd and other faithful present. I say welcome to all of you here present in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God, our Almighty Father, bless your presence. During the Mass, as it was the tradition, the candidates were called out one by one and each answered present. Reverend Augustine Abraham. Present. In his homily, Archbishop Kaigama called on the deacons to dedicate their lives to their call as missionaries, which he said is not devoid of challenges. As you offer your life for missionary service, remember that you are called to the priesthood at a challenging time in the life of the church and the world. He encouraged the priest to find time to hear from God at all times. My dear new priest, in fulfilling the tasks assigned to you by God, please find time for silence to contemplate Jesus, especially in the Blessed Sacrament. Make the Lord God alone your rock and refuge. Unload all your worries unto him. The rite was very solemn. The deacons laid prostrate for the litany of the saint. Santa Francis of Then they approached the bishop one by one for the imposition of hands. After the imposition comes the prayer of consecration. Renew within them the spirit of holiness as co-workers with the order of bishops. From that moment, the deacons were now priests. They were vested with stole and chasuble. Thereafter, their hands were anointed with oil of chrism and chalice presented to them as a symbol of their priestly office. You are a priest In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.